Right, so here we are with Pirate Ray, and today we're looking at the Nebuchadnezzar. And as you can see, it's uh, an awesome looking ship. I mean, if I just take a look around, there's a lot of detail going on here. You've got Plex, Plex Door sails. Uh, yeah, I always make my sails out of Plex Doors. Excellent, excellent. So they are all, uh, you know, they'll, they'll fold in, which is really yep. cool. Uh, got a nice turret down here. Uh, you've got an inventive use of your lighting as well. Like, I see that there on the front. We've got this. Uh, yeah. Yes, those are magnetic coils, or at least in the original ship. Right. I just, uh, I just thought, why not? There could be solar collectors as well. I remember from the Matrix, they had those little yeah. things that sort of fizzed. Yeah, yeah, and there's more of them there. So yeah, so if it, is it? Did you take a lot of inspiration from the Matrix Nebuchadnezzar? Uh, it's the original Nebuchadnezzar. I took some blueprints from it, and the interior is pretty much like the original. Oh, so I can't wait to see that then. Interesting. The only thing I modified is the the the, the, the sails. Yeah. And I and I had to redo the, the hangar bay and and such things. If I take the sails off temporarily, people can probably see the ship. Yeah, if you take both sails off, then yeah. you have just the stock Nebuchadnezzar. And obviously, there you have it. And uh, I'd say that's a pretty close representation of what it looked like in the movie, mate. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I, yeah, I, I know. It tried to make it look like it, but it's a bit wonky at some point. Especially the antenna I'm not entirely one I'm happy with, but... Yeah, it's not getting better. It looks because good. I don't like wedges too much on antenna builds. Oh right, I see, I see. Okay, well let's just get those sails back. That's one. I like how you've split them in two as well. That's quite cool. Yeah, I thought of making it one big sail, but it didn't look right. I made bigger sails on top of it, like a rooster head. Yeah. But it didn't look right, so I just scrapped it and kept it like this. There's also, what I also tried to do is make flex, flex doors on top of the windshield, so you have armored windows. Uh, at the back it doesn't have it, but at the front, always at the front, the cockpit. Alright, there we go. So that looks lovely. Where's the doors? Uh, you've got one at the back. And you've got the hangar door at, on the bottom. So Those should we come in? Should I come in the back? Because you can give me a tour through the ship, or uh, yeah, gonna, sure. Is that gonna work? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Let's have a look here. Oh, there we go. Oh god, my ship's going a bit mental. Where'd it go? Wow. Ships tend to get mental. Yeah, the ship went Especially a bit mad. Especially when there's lots of other ships around. Yeah, there are a lot of other ships around. I'm on my way. There should be plenty of gravity boxes to get... Gravity are you around. factioned up? Uh, no, it's not factioned up at the moment. Hmm. Uh, maybe I just... No, no, faction block doesn't work. Weird. Even though it says I'm in the gravity. Oh well, whatever. Okay, moving up the ship, we're going to take a look at the interior. So, oh, right. looks like we've got, uh, yeah, I'm not in the gravity, that's very strange. It says I'm in the gravity, but I'm not, so we've got, got some strange happenings here. Um, we've got Plex storage, Plex storage hangar, that's where I'm at yeah, right this now. Is, this is a storage room. It's, uh, it's one big storage room, I couldn't think of any other purpose when I look at the blueprints. Yeah. So, yeah, for a big old room. <laughs> okay, awesome. Next uh, next up is the canteen and, and, and relaxing area. There's a big dining table, there's a kitchen. Hey, this, this thing over here is great. A kitchen. That's a kitchen. Yeah, that's, 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 that's excellent. Do you know what? And there's a and there's a pool table. There's uh, a game closet. There's some cabinets and storage. And all that kind of. Uh. 
Whereabouts are you anyway? Are you in build mode? Um, no, I'm behind you. Really? See, I can't see you, so something's not right. Okay, so... Um, I, you, you glitch a bit around the place also. Ah, I can see you now. How strange. So anyway, um... So we've got some computers, so decorated panels. Yeah, uh, just some, just some food, uh, food out of that here, like you see in shops and such. Yeah, so we've got this nice tabling, a uh, nice table here. Nice. Is that a pool table? Yep, that's a pool table. <laughs> Excellent. Is there anything, any more rooms up here we need to check out? Um, up here, no. Up here, uh, if you go further in front, you'll get to the connection room and, uh, and the cockpit. And if you go down, you'll get to the engine room and such. Oh, right. So there's like all these different rooms. Oh, wow. This is, okay. the, ma this is the main room where they hook up in and go into the matrix. Oh, yeah. They're all lying down on the beds. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. <laughs> Joe, it's been a long time since I've seen this movie. Uh, but yeah, yeah. And you still recognize it. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's quite... A good, that's a good thing. That is good, yeah. Oh, and we've got the link operator yep, over and here. I try, and I made the computer blocks, uh, the, I made them those, the, the weapon blocks. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Right, well, tell me which way you want to go, because you'll have a more organized route than me, because uh, um, there's doors well, everywhere. It, if there we go to the front door, we'll go to the cockpit and the crew quarters. That's over here. These are the crew quarters. Oh, very nice. Well, what's this? A There's, shower. Yeah, the shower, and just like in the previous ship, and you might get stuck in the, in the insides of the ship, like in the last ship. So I right. made an exit hole as well. So if you get stuck there. I see. He's got chest under the bed. I like that chests under the bed. That's a good yeah, little feature. Yeah. Wedges actually let you access them, so I, why not? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Good stuff, man. That's a really good little tip. Plex storage well, under wedge beds. Yeah, and there's four crew quarters each. Uh, so there's more complete. more beds. Yeah, there's, there's more beds. There's four, eight, six, well, 16 beds in total. Nice. What then else have we got? We've got the bridge here. Hmm. Oh, excellent. Bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can close the armor by doing this. Oh, what? You've used two wedges, so you've got a line of sight. But from a distance, well, you can't, no, you well, can't you tell. Can, That's clever. Placed, That's... If you have a wedge placed and activate it, you'll move the wedge. Oh, so you've actually pressed... Try the... Try Why? You press R. Yeah, yeah, the... yeah. Press R on the block. You can go R, R. Ah, yeah. ah, that's amazing. And that's and that's really how I clever. Do it with a pulse computer in front of you, that's the purple block in f on the floor. Yeah. Because pulsators tend to reset themselves, and R right. I find my pulsators back in the ship a lot. So I. So is that where the output is? Thing. So this is the output. Uh, that's really that is genius. I love it. So which way did you orient this? Uh, it's the this is the front, so it it's just a big pulse. Uh, that's wow! Going out. Well done. That's genius. Twenty-five meter pulse and so four point six delay. How many? So any any space mine that got, gets in front of me just gets bounced. Bounced out. off. Yeah, yeah. I saw people doing that as they're using them as a kind of um, what is it that they have on the front of the Enterprise? The big dish, the deflector uh, the dish. De deflector, the deflector array. Yeah, it seems like that's the best use for the pulse at the moment, as a deflector well, these dish. Are, these are not rooms. These are just computer access for it. I Excellent. Can anything else. That's cool. And <laughs> I need to look. Um, that's really awesome. Do you know, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna steal that idea. I like that idea. Yeah, go ahead. I like that secrets. Idea. Your secrets. <laughs> Excellent. We've got uh, everywhere as well. Upstairs. We can go upstairs here. Okay, going up. And there's the captain's quarters. Oh wow, we've got an overview of the uh, matrix room. We can look at it from above. Yeah, in the actual uh, model, in the actual ship or 3D model I used. Yeah. You there is actually you can actually walk up here and see through down. 
Oh, I don't know how it's in the movie, but there is a, a room on top of this. Yeah, yeah. And I just made it see through for... Well, uh, to be honest, The Matrix was one of those movies that had loads of concept artwork that didn't necessarily make it into the movie, but would have been used in, like, promotion um yeah, and like like, the, like this room this room is not shown yeah. in the movie but it's in the ship it's, it's two, there's two operator consoles and i think they are for controlling the turrets but i'm not entirely not sure. entirely sure yeah yeah details are sketchy it's an old film now you know yeah. it's an old film and there are details to be found and but finding a good 3d model as a reference is mm. really hard yeah well because back then there wasn't so much sharing of the 3d models so true now there is no official 3d model that's the problem no they didn't have a 3d model they had they for the movie they used resin models like you would buy in the store Right, so they were actually and they real. Painted and moved that up. <laughs> they weren't CGI, and... unlike. Which is not that common these days, is it? Yeah. yeah. So, no, have we, have we um, missed every, anything oh, out, or is there more? Uh, yes, the engine rooms. If Excellent. we go down again, then we can go oh, to wow. the engine rooms. Oh, wow. And the uh, hangar bay. Oh, wow. This, this is fully fitted. I love it. That's, that's yeah, of brilliant. Course. I don't do uh, I don't do less. <laughs> Excellent. I There's like it, man. Room. I like it. So what? Yeah, engines. Ooh. In the back is a tiny emergency control panel thing going on. I love this idea you've got with that. Everyone should do this because it just makes the ship like people are like, oh, what do I do with the interior? Well, you can just put panels with computer access, and it looks great. Yeah, that that's it. It makes the walls un uneven, so. Hmm. And also, and then we've got the hangar, the last bit of the ship. The use, your use of hanging lights with wedges is uh, quite inspiring as well, bud. Yeah, I use hanging. I use those hanging lights as rails. Yeah. Because yeah. the yeah in Minecraft you use the the poles for the fences, but this looks like it. Hmm. And yes. the wedges and the and the lights on top of the engines are more cables. So. Excellent, excellent. So where's the hangar? Um, the other way around. The other way, right. Um, oh, man, sometimes the things go a bit wonky. Are you stuck on the floor? I'm not stuck on the floor, I'm, I'm going in the front. Are you? I'm in the front right now. Oh, you're still in front of me, hang on. It's Alpha, don't worry. Alpha, right, here we go. I went exit I entered and exited gravity and now you're where you are. So it's something to do with that. I don't know what, but it's something to do with that. Um Yeah. Oh. Oh. Look at you with the fleet well, of mechs. Got... Yeah, the, these are the APU battle suits and the Matrix uses and the uh, Zion offensive. Oh, well done. And I just tried to recreate <laughs> them, and I think they're pretty good. They're they don't functional, have an AI, though, AI so. Camera. Yeah. They're functional, they work, but they don't have an AI module. Because if I replace one of the energy blocks or shield blocks with an AI module, it's getting useless. Right. It's pretty much as optimized as it can get. It's for, they're for players. It's, it's really player operate, yes. Oh, amazing. Look at this. You've even got a place I can sit here and be in the mech. Da, 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 well, da. If you go into the mechs, <laughs> if you go into it and you press the arrow key, you ha you can actually have a feeling if you are sitting in it. Oh, that's amazing. Do you know what? I'm, I'm going to save one of these. Where is it? It should already be uploaded on the server. I've got reports of them being among pirates. Oh. All right, I'll check the uh, permissions. I think there might be a problem with permissions, pirate permissions. Because I've heard people encountering these in pirate raids. I I'm, I'm fine with that. It would, it's not just something I expected. <laughs> the only thing I would uh, do if I were you, if you're going to use this, mm. um, below the engine, there is an energy block. Replace that with an another engine, because otherwise it's too slow to get off a planet right can't move. yeah 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 i know what you're saying it's th this version is made for space travel and not for planetary travel the yeah is too strong it's the space type i get it 
That's cool. No, oh, you've done a really good job on these me. mechs. They look great. Considering what they're supposed to look like, you're right, you're not far off. <laughs> Obviously, it's very blocky with the guns, but then what do you do? <laughs> yeah, it, it, we don't have wedge guns or such. And no. I'm pretty close to the original, and I'm fine with it. Yeah, it looks great. And what and have you got? Like Four a, or six? I, um, six. Um, I think, yeah, six. There are six of them. It's mad that you've managed to fit all of this into this ship, to be honest. Well, they, they every one of those... Are we getting bumped? Um, yeah, I think we get, we are getting bumped by uh, someone. I think uh, your ship is bumping it, maybe? Okay, so thanks ever so much for showing me the ship today, dude. It's actually epic. It's literally the Nebuchadnezzar from the Matrix. What can I say? Yep. Um, nice conversion to a sail ship, so I can't wait to see it in the regatta. Uh, lovely mechs. We're going to have to do some things yeah. with the mechs. We're going to have to revisit yeah, the mechs. I, I, I'm, I, think, I think I'll make an AI control by changing one of the shoulders, so I can drop them in the, in the regatta. Ah. Or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be that would be awesome. Yeah, nice. Okay, so uh, yeah. And, uh, the thing I wanted to tell is that they fit into a one square block of docking without oh, yeah. answers. That was right. Yeah, they fit in a standard docking area. Yeah, that's why I can fit six in this small hangar bay. Yeah, because it is not a big, it's not a big hangar bay, and you have got like a decent amount of mechs here. <laughs> That's really nice. All right, All right. Well, okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, epic sail ship, dude. Again, another unique ship. Um, did you actually use SM Edit at all, or did it hand build from Blueprint? Um, <coughs> only for the raw hull. The raw hull was made by SM Edit, but every details was lost with it. Yeah, yeah. That's a, yeah. I, I understand. And then you had to rebuild all the interior systems, obviously the sails and decoration. So yeah. Yeah, it was just an empty hull, and the, even the magnetic discs were all brewed up and, and the whole yeah time. it had to all be redone yeah i understand brilliant well excellent work on that are you, you going to enter this one into the regatta uh yes only if if cookie brings back the neck if cookie brings but otherwise uh, is he just taking uh, something he took it for a ride oh okay cool for a ride. that's all right then <laughs> um right well in that case uh thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video